Hello guys! My name is Carmen and today I'm going to show you how to pack the perfect Camino backpack. This is the perfect packing list for the Camino because it has all that you need in only 3 kilograms or 7 pounds. I will list each item and its weight in the description down below. So without further ado, let's get packing! First of all, I would like to introduce you to my backpack. It is a Columbus Light 20, I've had it for many years and it has always been great. This is not a top-notch backpack or anything, but I really like it. Anyways, if you are walking the Camino in the hot season, 20 liters should be enough. I've seen people with 50 liter backpacks that were half empty so the weight was not evenly distributed or that were carrying a lot more than they needed. But anyways, choose the size that you feel adequate for yourself. As you can see, on the side pocket I'm carrying a 500ml bottle of water that you can fill in public fountains, bars and albergues. If you are hiking in a less urbanized area, consider bringing a bigger bottle. Now let's get to the clothing. Remember, this packing list is suited for a summer trip and Spain, even in the north, tends to be quite hot during the summer, so we don't need that much warm clothing. But it can get a bit chilly in the albergues during the night, so bring one hoodie. The one I'm carrying is perfect because it has pockets with zipper, which are super useful when hiking. You should also wear a long pant, even if it's just a pair of light leggings, in order to protect your legs from the bugs and the dirt. I will be also wearing a sleeveless shirt. Some people don't really enjoy hiking with shirts without the sleeves because the straps of the backpack can create a bit of friction on your shoulders but for me it isn't that much of a problem. Also I will be wearing these regular waterproof walking shoes. Bear in mind that most people prefer hiking boots but they are really uncomfortable to me. Now let's get to the packet clothing. If you have seen my other minimalist packing videos you will know that I am a huge fan of packing cubes. But in this trip you will be carrying like 6 items, therefore your backpack won't get really messy. So buy packing cubes! Again, remember that the exact weight of each item will be down below. I spent quite a bit of time weighing items on my kitchen scale, so please consider giving this video a like and subscribing. Ok, back to business. There is a bit of discussion about whether to carry one or two outfits in the backpack. For me, I wear one pant on and one off, and two t-shirts and pairs of underwear. These three quote-unquote extra items weigh only 800 grams combined and they really give me peace of mind. Like, I enjoy knowing that if it rains I don't have to wear dirty or wet socks. Now let's go to each item. I'm bringing two t-shirts, first this one which is just a regular breathable lightweight t-shirt, and then I'm bringing this crop top. I know it doesn't look like hiker clothing, but I really like it, it is comfortable for me, and I don't care if you think that a pilgrim should not show her belly button. You do you. As of bottoms, I'll be bringing the leggings I'm wearing, and also these shorts that are really comfy, and I can hide with them if needed. Then for shoes, bring a pair of hiking shoes and one pair of sandals or flip-flops, for showers or for when you are not hiking, nothing else. For underwear, in my backpack I'll be carrying two pairs of seamless socks, which will reduce the risk of blisters, one panty in and two panties out. One of them can be a bikini bottom, in case you want to dip in a pool and a trip to the spa, or in case some albergue has chill showers. And for bras, I'm wearing one, and I will be bringing one sports bra, that is quite stealthy and I can use as a bikini top. And that's all the clothing you need. Then let's go to the useful stuff section. First, I'm bringing a middle-sized microfiber towel. This is the cheapest one from Decathlon. It is pretty lightweight, about 200 grams, so I am not getting a ultralight version or anything, but something that you should really get is a sleeping bag liner, because it really does save weight and space and it's great for the Camino during the summer. I talk about it on my previous Camino videos, so go check them out! Next, your wallet with all of your cards and documents, 
a notebook or a book or a guide, and also the Compostelana, which is like the Camino passport, so to say, and some clothes pins, because most likely you will be hand washing your clothes and most albergues offer clothes lines. Also some wet wipes and tissues, and a power bank, which will be super useful because sometimes albergues have less power outlets than they should, and most likely you will be using your phone and GPS a lot. Also all the chargers that you need, earphones, and a tiny bag with sachets of salt, pepper, tea, coffee, spices, and also a fork, a knife, and a spoon. They are always useful, but especially this 2021, because some albergues no longer offer kitchenware, and also bring a food container in case you want to carry food or to use it as a plate. I forgot to mention that I'm carrying a bandana that I used to sort my hair out, and because it made me feel at least a little bit less ugly, but you can use it to grab a piece of fruit or as a reusable napkin. And speaking about hair, a comb. And lastly on this section, a detergent bar. As you can see, I usually put all of this stuff into this stream bag that is waterproof and I use it as a day pack for when I'm not hiking or for shopping, etc. Now let's go to the toiletries. I carry everything on this toiletry bag that is full to the brim, but I promise you can't really bring less stuff than I do. So Vaseline for your feet, this is the best anti-blister treatment, this mysterious bottle, inside I have first aid stuff like pills and band-aids, please check a trusted source to decide what to carry in terms of health and medicine and not a random Spanish girl, hand sanitizer, some sunscreen, toothpaste and a toothbrush, some hair ties, really useful not only for your hair but to fix things, hang wet items to your backpack, some soap and shampoo that I refill along the way, a small deodorant, and one tampon and one towel, just in case. If I knew I was going to be on my period on trail, I would carry my menstrual cup and a period panty. And a sewing kit. This is super necessary, trust me. So finally, this is all that I'm carrying. I know it doesn't seem like that much, but trust me, in the summer, this is probably all that you need. And don't worry about wearing the same clothes every day or not wearing makeup, because everyone around you will be a pilgrim on the same situation. Now, I'm gonna pack my backpack so you can see that this baby can fit all of this nicely. So that's it. We even have some extra room for food and stuff, and it weighs close to nothing. This is 3kg, but without water and food. But anyways, I think this is great as a base pack. So that's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching, remember to like and subscribe, and remember that on trail, less is more. Bye!